back. Pretty bad. Oh man, it's tight. You're gonna have to come drive her a bunch. Do you think anybody else has been dumb enough to bring a power wagon down here? No. No. That's I'm, I'm, I'm thinking this is the first power wagon. So we finally got the chance to hit the Snake Lake Jeep Trail, which starts at Gold Lake in beautiful lake space in California. Sean and I brought the little guys along for this adventure, and they were raring to go right from the start. But first, a little manscaping. Sean was worried he was going to smash the exhaust tip into the body panel on the Challenging Trail, so he just cut it off. A detail I forgot to do before I left the house. <laughs> Also, to get through some of the tight trees, he cut the ends of his yakma bars short. Brent, Rachel, and Sam arrived ready to hit the trail. Bear down and lay low. Hey, Sam. So we headed off down the first stretch of familiar and fairly easy trail. The first stretch just gets you down to the other end of Gold Lake and you catch awesome views of the lake through the forest along the way. You arrive at the OHV campground, which has bathrooms and a number of really nice tent campsites. The sites have tables, fire rings, and bear boxes. It's strictly BYO bear, though. Sean mapped out the route with Gaia GPS, and it was pretty easy Those to follow. Those guys right here is gnarly. Those guys that we talked to today, they went down. This is the first time I've seen Brent disconnect the sway bars on his JK, and I think it ended up making a pretty big difference. From Summit Lake, the OHV trail heads north through thick forest above Gold Lake without any real challenges until you arrive at Oakland Pond. From there, the Snake Lake Trail starts to head straight down the hill, and things get pretty hairy pretty quick. Slowly, slowly. Come back towards me a little bit. Come back towards, turn it this way. Yep, come driver. Come driver. Keep coming like that.
Straight, yep, you're clear. You're looking good. Straight. You're hitting your, uh, like, uh, one of the guards on okay. this side. up under his slider that's on that ridge right there. It's gonna stand up more is the problem. Might just roll all the way over. Yeah. Okay, just take it really slow, Brian. Keep your wheels where they're at. After the initial descent, the trail is less insanely steep and backs off to just pretty steep. But there are still a few challenges in the short distance left before you get to Snake Lake. There you go. There you go, you got it. Driver, just a little bit. Driver, okay, right there, straight down. You got it. You got it. Okay, driver. 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 There you go. Go back, driver. Um. Nice.
You're close to the other edge. Watch the other edge. Really slow. Yep. You're good. You're okay. You're okay. You got it. So that's it. Power Wagon made it down to Snake Lake without any real problems. We found a nice spot on the lake to have lunch in full view of the trail coming down the mountain. Road out? Not quite so easy. Subscribe and check back next week for part two. There you go. I'd help, but I'm too tired from running around so much. If one of you guys could drop a rock on somebody else's finger, that yeah. did that did really well for um, Lifestyle Overland. Let's not do that. Man, I, the kid got 50,000 views on that.